Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Here we are in the great city of Dallas, Texas, man. So, oh man, we are currently about to take off. Just finished our pre-trip. Uh, if you saw the last video, you know why we are here in this little hotel. We could not find parking last night, but I'm not gonna explain that. You have to watch the last video. Anyways, we're gonna go pick up our load, which is about 30 minutes away from here. Ah, man. So, let's get on to it. I'm gonna nose. We got here and once again we are late. Nah, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. We are not late. I just thought it was funny because I saw a comment uh yesterday. He they were like, bro, why are you always late every day or something like that? I don't know, I just thought it was funny. Um but no, we are not late, I guess. I don't know, maybe they finished the load whenever they told me they were gonna finish it, which was last night. Because when I came here to pick it up, it wasn't ready. So it's ready now. So we're going to go pick it up. It's around the back of the building. And uh, we can get out of here, man. Let's see. Trailer 7242. All right. Where is it at? Where is it at? It's uh, 7516. Damn. This thing is right on the freaking... Oh, damn. What? Oh, damn! All right, if I take out that fence, it's not my problem. Oh my goodness! All right, guys, let's uh, let's lower it to the paperwork. Get out of here. How close we are to the freaking fence, man. Oh, it's gonna be fun. And then there's a trailer right there. Hey, we don't have a lot of space. Oh my goodness! All right, let's go. All right, let's see. See if I don't take this fence with me. Oh man, it's gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Uh, uh, no, I think we're good. Oh man. Oh yeah, we should be alright. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Since I couldn't put the seal on over there, since it was all in the mud, let me. Let's go put the seal on so we can get out of here, man. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we have made it. Here it is. We dropped it off. Uh, so, we have a load. I don't know if I mentioned it. We have a load that's going to go pick up at the terminal in Laredo. But right now, we are in New Braunfels. So we're about three hours exactly from Laredo. It was like two hours and 50 minutes, something like that. But with a little bit of traffic, it'll turn into three hours real quick. And then plus I had to go fuel up. So I'm gonna lose time there. So yeah, it's uh, we're gonna get over there like about, I wanna see maybe six. And then another two and a half hours coming back. Six, seven, eight, nine. We should be back home around 9.30 or so, I want to say. Because, yeah, it's uh, 2.30 right now. Oh, man. Yeah, I want to say about 9.30 we should be back. We should be left with about an hour to drive. So, we are going to stay home. Because, I mean, there's literally no reason for me to leave um, around that time. Because I'm not going to find any parking anywhere and i'm gonna have to stay on the side of the road again which i don't want to do anyways our uh, appointment tomorrow to unload it is a live unload and it's in Houston. well it's in houston at 11. so we should if i stop around 10 at night 8 9 10 11 we should have enough time to get over there by our appointment hopefully Anyways, guys, so that's what we are doing. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up, go fuel up, head to Laredo, pick up over there, come back home, spend the night, because I'm not gonna have any more hours left, 
and then leave in the morning like around I want to say maybe I think I get my hours I should be getting my hours back at 8 in the morning so we'll leave early in the morning tomorrow which is Friday morning tomorrow yes go to Houston from Houston to Dallas Dallas back down so yes sir let's uh let's get out of here I saw a comment earlier that said that I did my how would you call it I guess the process wrong on the comment it said I should do this first and then hook up my lines and all that I don't remember if it was for unhooking or hooking up but I do it the same for all unhooking and hooking so what I like to do and what works for me which might not work for you it works for me but I get out of the truck come right here since I'm already here I'm gonna go ahead either and unhook or hook up the lines I'm gonna come this way pick this up or put it down and then I'm gonna go that way and start checking my lights my tires all of that stuff why because if I come out of the truck do this first I'm gonna have to come back over here hook up or unhook and then come back over here check my tires check my lights and do all that why do extra steps going back and forth when you can get out the truck and do that first since it's on the way then do this and then come over here and do what you got to do back here so you see now I can check the lights make sure they're all working check my tires make sure they're all good mud flaps make sure they're all good ABS light make sure it's not on or whatever well I can close that off close the thing make sure all my my freaking brake lights and all that stuff is working I forgot to turn on my my hazards and all that but I mean you get the you get the idea make sure that's working make sure the trailer is sort of clean my clearance lights on top the side ones other mud flap tires Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> that sounded like it anyways but yeah that's how that's how i do it that's why i do it like that which again it might not work for you but it works for me but yep there it is just thought i would clear that up since i can't answer that in the comments it's it's too hard to explain all of that but that's how we do it here that's how we do it here in uh 210 trucking man <laughs> so with all of that being said, I am currently 17 minutes on uh, on duty. So I'm going to go ahead and wait another, what, 14, 13 minutes, something like that, for my 30-minute break to be over with, and since I'm already that much into it. And so we can leave with all my hours, and uh, yeah. But again, guys, from here, we're going to go fuel up because I need it and uh, head on to Laredo and pick up the trailer and come back home. I just noticed that my trailer is right here and there's a parking spot right next to it where I can just straight back basically so I'm scooting back a little bit so we can freaking get this thing man it's gonna be that one right there 6940 oh yeah buddy all right Straight back. I was gonna put the GoPro on, but since I haven't really used it, uh, 
so I haven't charged it. It's uh, it's dead. So I can't really show y'all that angle. I know some of y'all liked it. Some of y'all did it. But yeah, man, I think it's pretty cool. I'm gonna keep using it. Let's go ahead and drop this trailer and then hook up to this one. Oh, let me see. See, we got our, please let the, oh no, okay. Then the paperwork should be in the front. Yeah, 6940. All right, let's go. hooked up let's get out of here man let's go home oh shoot i almost busted ass what it do what it do guys so we are here it's the next day we got here to our delivery um right here in houston but they don't have a door available so they told me to have a seat in my truck once they have a door available, they'll give me a call. And uh, yeah, we'll get to it. So it's already 12. Our next appointment was to pick up at 12 as well. I mean, definitely not gonna be able to make it uh, by 12 I'm, since I'm here. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that next load. They'll probably just push back the, um, the appointment, but we will see. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and heat up some food oh man because i'm freaking starving i haven't ate breakfast so let's uh let's get to that and hopefully we can get a door here pretty soon all right guys so they gave us door 16 which is on this side over over here that way um so we're gonna have to turn around because i am not gonna blindside again i already have to blindside right here so let's see here how we're gonna do this. Just gonna wait for this truck to move out the way. Oh man, this place is tiny. All right, yeah, that door is open. Oh man, let's see how we do it here. I think I could turn around over there. Yeah, I think I can. Let's go this way and turn around on this side. There's a TMC truck right there, so he won't even let me blindside. There's not enough room. Door's right here. I mean, I probably can, but I, I don't. I really don't want to blindside. trucks are gonna be in my way so oh my goodness gracious I'm gonna have to do more of a 90 all right lord help me
right, guys, we're in. Just waiting for something to cut the seal with. We're waiting for that truck to move up because I'm probably not going to be able to open that door. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was able to open that other door. Oh, there we go. So, now we don't have to move. I was going to go all the way straight. There's an empty spot so I could open the door, but we had enough space. So, now we just go back straight up and uh, that's it. Oh man, it was a tight squeeze right there with that truck and that truck, but we got it. All right, guys, well, oh, man, let me see if I can clean this thing. Well, anyway, guys, they just finished unloading us or unloading me, I should say. Um, so we're gonna head to our next spot, which is about 30 minutes away. Oh man, so yes, yeah, sir. Let's, uh, Get out of here, mate. Well, actually, let me close the doors first. They're good. All right, let me close the doors real quick. All right, now let's get out of here. Oh, man. And these trucks are still here. They're probably waiting. Oh, yeah, the guy's sitting there. All right, I'm gonna... We got here, but since our load was to be loaded up at 12, but I was over there getting unloaded. Um, they said they're still gonna load me up. It's just another guy got here right at the same time that I got here. So they're gonna load him up first. Um, and then load me up. I'm just waiting for him to pull in, as y'all can see over there. He's backing in. I'm just going to back up a little bit and do a U-turn right here and uh, go park over there. So, yes, yeah, sir. Good thing they're still going to load me up. But, I mean, I'm going to have to wait a little bit longer, but it's all good. I mean, there's nothing I could have really done. I was getting, uh, I was getting loaded anyway, so, yeah. All right. Let's see here. There's some cars coming. There is, they better wait. There's a freaking trailer right out, freaking right in the middle of the street. All right, let's do this. Let's see if I have enough room. I should. Oh, yeah, barely, boy. Look at that. Woo, man, that was close. All right, move. gonna wait for him to to back up finish up and then we'll get back up
after about 30 minutes of not feeling any movement uh, don't mind my trash I didn't take all that out um, I went to go check and they had put down the doors for me and the other guy so they had finished and they never even told us anything and they were just sitting here waiting because um, they told him they were gonna come knock on his door and let him know whenever we were done but apparently not so I went ahead and told them that it seemed like they were done they closed the gate or the freaking door so I'm gonna go ahead and I had already gotten the seal I'm gonna go ahead and put the seal on and uh, close the doors so we can get out of here the load that I brought from Houston over here I am whoo, I am in a bit of a hurry because I have 47 minutes left and my time is running it is not stopping so I have to get to the next place to pick it up try and pick it up we are nine miles from this place 18 minutes I have 46 minutes left all right, I think we can do it. So what I want to do is go and pick this load up and try and make it to our terminal. Oh man, that's trucking, all right, that's trucking. guys so I didn't record last night because I was in such a hurry since I was about to run out of hours uh, that I, for, I just I didn't record but anyways we stayed right here right outside of uh, we stayed right outside the shipper yeah we caught it a day or a night here we're about to take off right now to go drop this thing off and go home man <laughs> We're about three hours and 30 minutes, it says right here, from New Braunfels. So we should be about four hours from the house. 
So, yes sir, I don't have to stop for fuel or anything because I fueled up yesterday. So we should be all good to go. So with that being said guys, let's, uh, let's get this thing delivered. being said guys i think i'm gonna call it a video here should be pretty long already so and we're plus we're not gonna leave until monday afternoon most likely because the load that we have for monday is uh we're gonna pick up at the terminal it doesn't really have an appointment to pick up or to drop off we can drop off until tuesday at midnight so yeah we're gonna take a chill and uh yeah so that being said i will see y'all guys in the next video don't forget to leave a like um subscribe and uh leave any comments down below uh i'll see y'all in the next one peace